Hi, it's Spyro at and this is an It's Been A While video for Rage. So Barry, you're like the only other person I know who's played Rage. Yes, which is a good thing. It's a good thing you like Rage? I do like Rage. Overall, I enjoyed it very much. I mean, I enjoy it. It's, to me, it's sort of like a lesser Borderlands, but it was still a good game. It's like, like a cross between Borderlands and Fallout, but more polished. Like, graphically at least. I mean, this opening cutscene was amazing. Yeah, the graphics are really good, except for the texture popping. It was basically just Bethesda trying to show off an engine though, wasn't it? Yeah. Beth Bethesda came up with this new engine, they were just like, hey, look at us, look what we got. Let's make Borderlands. It was, and um, but it had a lot of trouble on PC. Oh, really? Did you play it on PC? <coughs> no, I played it on PS3. I platinumed so, it. Wow. I have not, because there's the multiplayer uh, stuff I've never is, done. It is absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. That's why I kept this in, because just look at it. It's amazing. It's destroying the moon. And I like, it's pretty much the same story as Fallout, you know, like... I haven't played big, Fallout. Oh, well, it's big asteroid. Well, in Fallout, it's nuclear weapons that destroy the Earth, when this is an asteroid. And you're in a, you're put in cryo sleep. And it's kind of similar, but I liked how they did this intro better. Because in Fallout, you don't really get any kind of intro to how the world blew up kind of thing. So my problem with it was it's you know the authority. Mm. They were very much no face and you only really sort of fight them at the end. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to have a better villain. Yeah, it didn't have any definitive villain apart from the kind of different clans. And the characters were a bit poor. I mean um Dan as uh, Hagger. Yeah. Who's Jan. um who's the voice actor for that? Oh um John Goodman, huh? Yeah I think so. He, I mean, that, he was a good character. Uh, you meet him in a minute, he pulls up in a car. But, um, and he snipers people. Yeah, but I, I don't... I liked the, the races in it. The screen's broken. The screen's not broken. Yeah, but like the um, the races in it were pretty good. Like You could like get the better yeah. cars, upgrade and them. Did you play any weapons. multiplayer? No, that's what I was saying. The only achievements I haven't got was... That, like, there's like, yeah. like a, a American football ATV thing, isn't there? I think the multiplayer would have been better if it was, you know, the FPS. But the multiplayer was just... The racing and the killing, kind of like Twisted Metal. See, it would be, so I like Twisted Metal. Yeah, Twisted Metal's awesome. I mean, but the problem I have with it is, um, well, not a problem, but I was on the Xbox, it's not Blu-ray, so I needed three discs to play it. Oh crap! So <laughs> like, halfway through the game, it's like, please insert disc two, and then all of the multiplayer was on the third disc. Yeah. So I, I've never done any of it because I didn't think it would be that good. There, are, there are loads of things I loved about this, um, and I really hope they do a sequel. There's DLC just coming out. Or yeah, just out. about coming out. And this game's been out for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's hasn't been it? out like over a year, or well, a year and a half, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's something they were meant to add into the game, so it's kind of half complete, and they thought, fuck it, it's just me. Yeah, but still a good. I, the weapons in it were nice. The weapon, my favorite were they wing sticks, they were called. The wing sticks, they were yeah, beautiful, and um, the AI did you, as well. To get the headshot. Oh yeah, the, the AI, the AI when they was charge so at you, good. they dodge all the they time. They dodge like, and they jump backflips, around. Jump I mean, I played it. I literally did like yeah a, the mirrors um, actually yeah. I played it on the hardest level on my first playthrough. Oh the insane. Let but I kind of I wanted to only do one playthrough, so I, I did have a guide just for the uh, card locations. Mm. So that, Quad bike was pretty cool. It was all. It was all really and good. was it like? You, when you get to the first town, you get to sort of class select, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Whether you want because um, it's like light, medium, and heavy. Actually, yeah, like you can deal more damage, take less damage, or your um, crafting is better. Because it's got a whole crafting thing in it. Like you make yeah. um, grenades, bandages, yeah, really good turrets, uh, remote control cars, yeah. uh, sentries, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, there was a lot of things. This, this, is where, this is where Matt sends me a message being like, oh, I'm going to ruin your recording. And you're like, fuck so, you, yeah, Matt. So I left it in there just so Matt can get his, his part in this video. Matt, you're in this video. Right. Yeah, you sent me a message while I was recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. The thing I liked about it best was... Well, the, the loading screen has the wing stick spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not the best thing, but it's one of the best things. But, yeah. The literal favourite thing about it was how it felt like... It just felt like id. It felt like Doom and Quake all in one. And I haven't played in, you know, since It's a Quake bit four. where you die, and this. Because yeah. the suit you've got on has like a, what, a defibrillator built in. And so you die, and yeah. you basically it's your second wind, but then you have to stay alive a certain amount of time yeah. before you can go and back in. And you get this. a number of uses, don't you? Yeah, like as you go through the game, you get a second use, and you get yeah. a third as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you do. But yeah, um, and so many like, things to collect 
Ayak, and um, the collectibles, the cards. Did you get all of those? Yeah, I got all the cards, and I really, I love games. I was games. missing one or two. I love games with uh, mini card games, you know, like Final Fantasy. Yeah. Oh yeah, this had that. Uh, this had a couple of games. There was yeah, like a knife game. Yeah, uh, one of the achievements is so annoying. Win the knife game? No, it's, yeah, that was an annoying one, but that had a little cheat. You could like pause it. You could pause it, and you read up the. It was only like the last five were random. So you right. can kind of cheat that. The most annoying one was to get. There's that game. It's like a Star Wars Hollow. Uh, yeah, game. yeah. You got to and move the should, pieces. Yeah, that's right. And you've got to win it in like four rounds without taking any you've damage. You've got to get a perfect because it's luck based. Yeah. And one a perfect roll is you shoot all four mutants and it's completely luck based and you get an achievement for that. I literally I stood played, there. I played that hour. game. Played the knife game. Didn't play the card game. Card game is brilliant. It's really quite tactical. Like it if seemed, anything, it wasn't hard enough. It seemed a bit overcomplicated. I, I mean, when, I, when they were trying to explain it, it seemed overcomplicated, so I didn't want to play it. The one thing I like, I like is um, after this, when you get the the monocular. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah for half, your pistol. Ha half the monocular, yeah. the good half. Yeah. <laughs> now, the monocular was cool, but it made no sense. Having half a binocular held up to your eye doesn't make your accuracy with a gun the slightest bit better. Makes perfect sense. It doesn't. If the, monoc if the, if the thing was on top of the gun and you were putting that up to your eye, maybe. But no, got, it doesn't uh, help at all. Another thing I really liked about it was the mutant bash. That was yeah, cool. the TV show. Yeah. Did you, you got the achievement for. Yeah, oh, you yeah. said you planned yeah, so, yeah, I got them all. So. Was it you had to um, earn like $500,000? Yeah, that was on the last one, so I thought. But um, yeah. Mutant this game Bash, it reminded me of the, um, I, I don't know how far you are into Borderlands 2, but you've got like the round... The arena thing, yeah. Yeah, the, um, yeah I've got that. Circle of Slaughter. Yeah, that's... It reminded me of the first Circle of Slaughter, not the second one, because the second one's the Hyperion one against the your monocle. The box. Yeah, the monocular. Go, go. Nice shot. Took off his helmet. What I liked is, um, in the group of bad guys, the clan, the ones where they work in the car shop, yeah, where they're all British they're like, guys, yeah. they've all got like Union Jacks all over them, it was pretty cool. No, it's good. I mean, like I said, it really feels like Quake and, um, and Doom. And it's not really nice. It was all. Uh, you go back to the same areas over and over again, but, and they kind of it changes up how you go through yeah, it. Yeah, like you got Dead City, and then you go in reverse as well. Yeah. Don't you? Oh, yeah, like the reverse ones. And shotgun. The, yeah, I, I, the, my favorite weapon. This is the one that I like modded. And you, up you had um, you could turn it into a little rocket launcher. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the crafting stuff, like you get to make bandages, yeah, the I mean, engineering. It just did it. a load of things well. The only thing it didn't do well is probably the storyline. This is the end of the game, because I'd finished it and I thought I should just get in to show that they're, this is the authority, the boss that you Yeah, fight. this is the thing that let the down is, the most. This is the boss fight, and it is literally just wave after wave of these little mutant grunts. A lot of games kind of do that at the moment. I mean, this game had bosses though. Like, do you remember the, the giant yeah, mutant the giant, thing with the, the laser rocket, rocket launcher? launcher. Yeah, yeah. It took me a while to. F it wasn't. It didn't take me a while to figure out what to do. It was just the. He opens up his chest, and yeah. that's when you can shoot into him. And you got to go back to your little reload of. Yeah, but it there wasn't enough time for him opening it and the rocket getting there. As soon as he opened, it, if he fired the rocket, it wouldn't hit. No. You'd have to know when he was going to do it. it. You can get the timing, but it was a bit. It was oh. all right though, but it's just here. Right. He's showing off with more of the shotgun, which yeah, that's right. I do yeah, love yeah, this that's... weapon. Especially with these guys, you, you needed the close range. You haven't had any wing sticks. No, I don't use any wing sticks. Oh, I love wing sticks. I found the headshots of wing sticks was a lot harder than I thought. Because really I'd be aiming at their head, throw it, and it wouldn't get them. You get the advanced ones, which you can get like two or three in one hit. Yeah, or it's the same with the um, the crossbow, because you've got to do like stealth kills, hmm. which you can get at the beginning of every level, because as soon as you yeah. come into a level, no one knows yeah. you're there until I you fire the first does, shot. I reloaded and it counted. Yeah. Um, but I did a couple of those. I did like the stealth kills, and it didn't count them. The guy no. didn't know I was there. It's a stealth headshot, is what you got to do. Yeah, that's it. With the uh, crossbow, and it was a good game. Um, it wouldn't like rate it because it was last year, wasn't it? Not? I think, I think it was really good. I like a lot of things they did. If they made a sequel, they could yeah. improve on. They so need much. to make a sequel because the 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 authority it wasn't really brought out. Exactly. Do you think they should do it with this character or another character who comes out the stuff? Very quickly. It would be this character. That'd be cool. 